Hello everyone, I'm Matteo and I welcome you here in my little RC garage. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Today I'm going to show you the new Quick Run Fusion brushless system from Hobbywing. It's specially designed for crawlers. 2-in-1 means the Electronic Speed Controller is not a separate unit. It's directly integrated in the motor housing. The ESC is located here at the rear end of the motor. That's why the motor is a bit longer as a standard 540 motor. Maybe this could be a problem when the space for the installation is limited. On the other hand, space can be saved, because no additional ESC needs to be installed. As you can see, I have here the 1800 kV version. The system is also available in 1200 kV. And a programming card to set all the parameters is also included. Now let's open the box and have a closer look. Here it is. It's very well manufactured. Feels precious. Everything in metal. Here on the back end the ESC is integrated in the motor housing. This makes it also well waterproof. And as you can see here is the connector for the receiver. The cable to connect a battery. And the on off switch. A few cable ties are also included. And a servo extension cable. This cable is to connect the programming car to the ESC. And here is this programming card to set all the parameters. And of course an operation manual is also included. The first thing I like to do is the calibration of the system to my radio. This procedure is well explained and I do this before I install the system in the chassis. First I have to connect the cable to the second channel on my receiver. Because I use a Futaba radio I have to set the throttle channel to reverse. On all other brands of radios it can be set to normal. As next I have to connect a battery. I use a 3 cell LiPo. The system can handle 2 or 3 as LiPos or 6 to 9 cell nickel metal hybrid batteries. When the radio is turned on, I turn on the motor and keep the button pressed, till the red light flashes. And there are also some beep beep sounds. Now I let the throttle trigger on the neutral position and press the button. The green light indicates the neutral position is saved. Then I move the trigger to full throttle and press again the button to save the full throttle position. As last I move the trigger to full reverse and save also this position. Now the ESC is calibrated and ready to use. As next I can install the motor on the chassis. I do this on my new CFX chimney. It's still not completely finished, but it's on a good way. First I have to install the pin and gear. The position should be 5.8 mm from the motor plate. The installation is nothing special. The motor holds with two screws. As you can see here I have turned the motor a bit to the right to get the cable more sideways. So it's more space on the top for the body. As always it's important to adjust a proper gear lash. So, Everything is connected and we can make a first try.
It works very good. It's impressive how slow the motor can turn and how sensitive it moves. Now let's check the parameters with the programming card. I connect the cable on the switch and the other end on the card. I have to turn on the radio and then the ESC. Now the item and value is indicated. Item 1 is the throttle matching function. If you don't like the FOC, field oriented control, this function can be disabled. So then the ESC works on the same way as a normal ESC works. I think this is good to know, because not everyone likes this FOC control. Item 2 is how many LiPo cells are connected. Automatic is a good setting. Item 3 is the cutoff voltage. It means on what voltage the ESC stops operating. Intermediate is ok. Item 4 is thermal protection. I think position 1 is good. Item 5 is the motor rotation. I have already checked it and it is turning in the right direction. Item 6 is the BEC voltage. It can be selected to 6 or 7.4 volts. It depends on what receiver and servo you use. Item 7 is the drag brake force. This is an important adjustment. It's set to 5 now. This is a medium value. But I have to check this on the trails. How the truck performs on a steep route. Number 8 is the drag brake rate. This means how fast the drag brake activates. This also, I will check it on a test drive. And item 9 is the maximum reverse power. 3 means 75%. I set the value to 2. This means 50% reverse power. If all settings are done, we can press OK and all parameters are safe. Now I'm curious how this motor combo performs on the trails. I'm looking forward cause I'm already impressed how it turns here on the workbench. Soon after my chimney is finished I will test this outside. Of course I will record my impressions and this will be in one of my next videos. So stay tuned to see this and please give me a thumbs up for this video if you like it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you soon.